Welcome to the 3rd of July, 2017. It's Monday. Uh, we're gonna change things up here for the next couple of weeks, probably maybe the next couple of months, for, as far as I know. Uh, <clears throat> I'm redoing the random media generator with regard to how I track all the media that I have behind me. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna be going uh, and probably uh, randomly concentrating on more of some of the more recent films, as has been the case of the past couple of weeks. Mostly Blu-rays and HD DVDs. And I get an HD DVD today. Which is actually better than Blu-ray, by the way. I've, I've watched enough. I wish HD DVD had made it, because it's actually a better better sound than Blu-ray is. Anyway, Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. I've seen this film, but I liked it so much I actually bought the HD DVD of it. <clears throat> we'll watch the first 50 minutes of it tonight. Uh, you know, to those that understand history and the whole idea of media and going back in the 30s, this whole film is a homage to that concept of, uh, of uh, you know, of steampunk gothic concepts of the future. And uh, it's, it's really well done. This was one of the first m movies that was done entirely digitally. Uh, the actors are live, but almost every single thing you see in the background is digitally re reproduced in this very gothic kind of uh, art nouveau kind of art, you know, artistic style so uh it's it's just, it's just a hoot to watch this because you know if you were a little kid back in 1930s and you read comic books this is what your dreams would have been like would have been like this show because this would have been your concept of the future so uh it's got a really good, great cast uh paltrow uh, it's got uh a good old jude law who's pretty good in this and angelina jolie who has a rather odd role in this actually looks sexy with an eye patch so um uh, Let's get into some 1930s gothic fantasy, Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. So we're wrapping up Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. Actually not as good as I remember it. Uh, it really is a funny film to watch just because of the visuals. It's, you know, it's, it's the production design and the way the movie looks is just so noirish. It just kind of goes over the top. Uh, the storyline, you know, while the base storyline is interesting, the, the whole thing between Jude Law and, and Gwyneth Paltrow it's kind of silly. I mean, it's it you know it is kind of cartoonish you know in a way. They're just like these bickering teenagers flying around the world solving problems. So in that aspect, not very good. This would be a great movie to watch you know with kids. Uh, you know, because it shows the whole idea of uh, interrelations between the sexes, and it's very adventurous and totally disbelief in reality. <laughs> so, but it's fun. 